Now we have made sure that people are actually coming to our chatbot, we also need to make sure that people are actually coming back. And a great way to do this is by using a broadcast. A broadcast is one single message that you send out to all your users or a segment of your users. But before we're going to do this, we need to be compliant with the Facebook Messenger policies and I will explain them briefly. If a user chats with your chatbot, a moment starts. And from that moment, we got a 24 hour window. We got 24 hours in which we can say anything, unpromotional messages and promotional messages. But outside the 24 hour window, we only can send unpromotional messages. And it needs to be compliant with three specific scenarios. In this video, I will explain how we can create a broadcast from inside the 24 hour window and a broadcast for outside the 24 hour window. Let's dive in. So if you go to your Chatfield dashboard, you can just click on re-engage. And if you click on that, you can see several options. So we can deliver our broadcast now, or we can schedule it for later. So if we click on schedule for later, then we can also select the date and the time. We're not doing that right now, but that's also a possibility. So if we want to deliver our message right now, the first thing that we need to do is set our tag. And the tag is automatically sent to standard messaging. And that's indeed the tag that we're going to use if we want to send out a message to everyone that engaged with our chatbot in the last 24 hours. So the attribute within the 24 hour window is set to yes. So that makes sure that only people who are in the 24 hour window get this broadcast. Also, if you have more information about your users, such as their lead status, you can also filter down on other attributes of a user. So not everyone gets the message, but only specific users. And you can do this by just clicking the plus button here, select the attributes and select a certain value. Then we can select the text and the text is the thing that we're actually sending to the user. For example, hey, this is our first broadcast. And then we can just click on send and then it will send the message to everyone that engaged with your chatbot in the last 24 hours. So if we do that, the message will be sent between 30 seconds to a few minutes, really depends on the peak hours inside Messenger. But as you can see, hey, this is our first chatbot, this is already sent to us, so that's working. The other option that we can use is to deliver a message outside the 24 hour window. And if we want to deliver a message outside the 24 hour window, we need to be compliant with the Facebook Messenger policies. That, so that means that we can only send a message outside the 24 hour windows if, it is, uh, if one of the three tags is applicable. So the confirmed event update tag is when someone has registered for your event and wants to get updates. For example, the schedule has changed or there are some errors during the event. Then you have the confirmed event update tag that you can send messages with. Then we have the post purchase update tag. This is especially useful for e-commerce shop owners. For example, if someone has purchased a order at your shop, has purchased some products, then you can send them reminders about that about that purchase, for example, shipping notifications or a product is early out of stock. Is it okay if we send you a product later? That kind of things. And the last one is the account update tag. And to be honest, the account update tag is the least used tag out there. And it's really to notify people about changes on their account. For example, if someone changed their password, then you can say, hey, your password has changed through Messenger. But I haven't seen any cases in which someone used it. So you can just select one of the tags, select it, and then you can also specify the message. Hey, this is a message outside 24 hour window for an event. And then you can hit send. I'm not going to hit send right now because this message isn't related to any confirmed event update. So you need to really make sure that if you're sending out a message outside the 24 hour window, it fits with one of the three tags. If it doesn't fit with one of the three tags and you're still sending a message, then you can get plugged by Facebook and that's not what we want. So 
that's how you can send a broadcast inside the 24 hour window and outside the 24 hour window with Chef Fuel. What I haven't told yet is that you can also use another way to send messages outside the 24 hour window and this is called the one time notification. In the next video I will explain what the one time notification is and how you can use it inside Chef Fuel. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing please subscribe to my channel and if you haven't done this yet also click the like button below.